Welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the thanks button. One of the viewers out there asked me a question I didn't know the answer to, so I went to a high source to find out for you guys. 1984 draft. The question was, why did the team not draft Boomer Esiason when they had a chance? All right. I was a Terp. I was on campus around the same time Boomer. Not that we knew each other, but I, I said, okay, let me call Charlie Cashley the old GM of the Washington Redskins, uh, who back then was an assistant. Um, so he didn't get to make this pick, but he was around for it. And uh, Charlie's now retired, living in Florida, and living the good life. So good for him. But anyway, Charlie tells me, he says, hey, I liked them, but there were people in the building that just didn't. That 1984 draft, not exactly a great one for anybody. The number one pick overall, Irving Fryer, who ended up making the uh, Redskins at the end of his career. Number three pick was Carl Banks. Number 11 was Wilbur Marshall, who also made his way to Washington. But uh, really wasn't much in that draft class. And no quarterback taken in the first round. Can you imagine now? All right. So Washington finally gets to pick in the second round. They have number 31 overall, Bob Slater. Defensive tackle, who in three seasons played zero games with them because of injuries. Bust. All right. Then they also, uh, Boomer came along at 38. And... Probably the best pick of that whole draft. You know, Boomer's not in the Hall of Fame, but awful good one. But Charlie brought up a point. He said, you know, Beathard picked Jay Schrader in the third round, 38, uh, 83rd overall. So maybe he was. Maybe that's why they didn't go for Boomer in the end, because some people were against it, and they had Jay Schrader that they were really looking at in the back end. Of the 11 players that Washington drafted, oh, like Kurt Singer, Mark, and, and Jeff Smith, you remember them. They played zero games combined. Ooh, it was probably Bedford's worst draft ever. Not that he had some great, he had a couple great ones, but that's why they just didn't like Boomer. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming. I'll see you soon.